When Mama was speaking on radio, because Mama was on reading FM, it was a live program. So permit me to call briefly the beautiful sister in the house. She is Auntie Baron Owole. Briefly, Google message and then Mama will come on. Thank you. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for her. Thank you.
a circumstance that some of us have found ourselves today. Some of us don't expect the challenge that we have with our children. In fact, nobody expects it. So today, we are marking the downside of the situation that some children are born with. And I want to give a little talk on what Down syndrome is and show you a few pictures. I want to appreciate uh, Mrs. Adebemi. She has spoken to you about what Down syndrome is. And I want to tell you a little more about how the situation, where how the condition is managed and some of the things that result in Down syndrome so that it can be prevented. Um, one of our focuses is prevention of disability. And so we organize different programs to teach people, teach parents how to avoid certain disorders, their children, teach teachers how to discover when a child is struggling in class. So that in case a child has a situation that can still be arrested, teachers discover it. Even parents can discover it at home. But as for Down syndrome, for a child who has been born with Down syndrome, there is no cure. It's a condition the child is born with. It is how the child is, is made. It is how the child's genes are combined. So this afternoon, I want to just do a brief, um, a brief presentation thank you, of the down, come on, of what Down syndrome is, so that you can see. Now, larger than I is representing all challenges. So, in December, December third is World Disability Day. So on December 3rd, we will still celebrate again. But we do different uh, uh, activities to celebrate all of these things. Last time we did training. We did training, we did road work. We do different things to commemorate all these days. Anything to increase awareness. Anything to increase learning. Anything to increase prevention. Anything we can do to increase acceptance. Because one thing that is a problem in our society is stigma. When I say stigma, stigma means when somebody does not want you around them because of something they think they perceive in their mind that you have. There's a way you are. There's a way you are behaving. And people are running away from you. People are, are, are not allowing you to enjoy the things you're supposed to enjoy. That is stigma. They are looking down on you. They are saying, I beg, come on for here. I beg, take this stick, come on from here. No, let's begin play with my begin. That's stigma. That's discrimination. And that is not needed. That's one of the reasons we are going to do the road walk. To tell people, leave no one behind. Everybody should be accepted. Whether you have challenge or you don't have challenge. Some children look like there's nothing wrong, but they have a challenge, and people don't know. But an organization like this helps to discover that challenge in those children and put it right and tell the parents. Another problem we have is that parents don't want to admit or agree that there is a situation with the child. So they delay the intervention. So those of you that are here, you are going to be a mouthpiece. When somebody has a child that has a problem, encourage the person. If the person says, I beg, leave me on Holy Ghost fire, which kind of problem? I beg, leave them, don't insist. But at least they will know that somebody told them. Praise the Lord. So, right now I want to... Uh, okay, thank you. I want to go to the presentation. And what I want to do is to just show you a little bit of what Down syndrome is. And how to manage the children with Down syndrome in a nutshell. Because there is, there is a way they learn. Their own learning pattern is different. Their behavior is different. Every child is different. From this our board, there's one of them that says, I'm not disabled, I'm different. Is there one of them like that? I'm just different. I'm just different. There's no problem. I can grow up and be somebody in life. The pictures I wanted to put of some people who are actually 
having Down syndrome, but they are medical doctors. They have become big people. They are, in fact, very important people. Praise the Lord. Okay, so right now, I want to just talk about the World Down Syndrome Day, Leave No One Behind. And what is Down Syndrome? That's the next thing I want to look at. This is a child with Down Syndrome. He's one of our children. Her name is Daniela. Right here. So when you see this face, you will know that this is Down Syndrome. Now, what is Down Syndrome? You can find it, or you can see it here, a chromosomal disorder that causes developmental delay. It causes delay. Many of them still meet up with their milestones if they have intervention early. Children with Down Syndrome can learn, but there is a way they learn. So if you discover how to help them early, they will pick up very fast and start learning to do things by themselves. Praise the Lord. So it is a it, it causes only developmental delay. Praise the Lord. Now it occurs when the genetic material in the 21st chromosome is three in number instead of the, the normal two. What do I mean by that? Look at it here. Everybody has chromosomes. Everybody has pairs of chromosomes. Two, two chromosomes. They call it, what did I call it? Chromosome. This is what makes all our life, our individual person. Everybody has one chromosome from father, one from mother. One from father, one from mother. One from father, one from mother. And I have a stick. A, a kind of stick. So all of us have, this is number one pair. Thank you. This is number one pair, mother and father. All of us, as father and mother are, are, are coming together, they contribute one one. So in our sex uh, cell, all of us have 23. So, so when the cell of the father and the, that of the mother come together, it will become what? 46. So there are 46 here. Do you understand? Okay, so from this person, the man, the, the man and the woman, the man and the woman, the man and the woman, like that, like that, like that. So, what now comes to the 21? The number 21 there for Down syndrome case, instead of it to be two, it is now three. There are three materials inside that place instead of what? Two. And that is why we have it on the 21st of March. Are you getting it? There are 21, it's on the 21 pair. That's why we have to be it. And it is three inside it. That's why it is in March. March is number what? It's number three months in the year. Do you understand it now? Have you gained some knowledge today? Beautiful. So, on this particular set of chromosome, because there are three, it becomes Down syndrome. And it was one physician that discovered it. His name is Sir Landry Down. Praise the Lord. So, I continue. Okay, this is the colored form of it. It's clearer here, isn't it? But the first one is exactly the way it normally looks. Okay, so this is a clearer picture of how the Down syndrome is. Now, let's look at this is a table here. The young man, the, the, oh, come and help me to move. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, it's not coming. I need it to talk. You can know, can't you? Can you know? Okay, let's go on. We're still talking about what is Down syndrome. Now, what, what Down syndrome is and what Down syndrome is not. Now, what Down syndrome is not? Down syndrome is not a disease. And so it cannot be cured, but can 
can be what? Down syndrome is not witchcraft. It's not because the witches attack you in the night. That's why they, they change the child. It is something that happens genetically. It is not contagious. That means it cannot spread. Say because you touch the person now, the person now, you now have the same condition. It can't happen. It is not a natural occurrence, so it, because it is caused. Something makes it happen. Now, they are saying it is genetic, it can be transferred. It's not been confirmed. That when somebody has Down syndrome, from that family, it can also go to the next generation and all of that. I don't know how to, but basically I'm hearing that, and uh, we heard that on radio yesterday. Thank you. Praise the Lord. One of the things that causes Down syndrome is the age of the parents. Sometimes they said some certain chemicals cause the genetic um, malformation when the baby is still growing in the womb. So we leave that one to the medical doctors to, and the researchers to confirm for us. Now, how does it present? Now, children with Down syndrome have an appearance that makes them distinct and different. If, if those of you in this world now see a child with Down syndrome, will you know? You should know by now. See what happens. Some of these are the other ones, the slanty eye. The eyes are slanty. You can see my dear little baby here. Some of them are right in the in our feet. You will see that they are, you are, she's seeing herself, she's 